The KCBD investigates team has learned that the Lubbock County District Attorney's Office will not try death cases while the Texas Rangers continue to investigate the medical examiner's office. That news has traveled to Austin, where a judge there has delayed a capital murder trial for Lubbock County Chief Medical Examiner Dr. Sam Andrews is scheduled to testify. Investigative reporter Shaley Sanders has the latest. It was alarming to say the least. Austin defense attorney Amber Vasquez says she was just weeks away from representing her client, Clifton Wade, in a capital murder trial in Travis County when the state called her about Dr. Sam Andrews, the former Travis County medical examiner set to testify in the case. He was the sole forensic medical examiner in the Clifton Wade case and was the author of the autopsy and collected all the evidence used in the autopsy. The state, as required by law, showed Vasquez this court transcript prosecutors came across from a previous murder trial where Andrews reached a new conclusion about the cause of death during the trial. I was completely blown away with the testimony given by Dr. Andrews. Through cross-examination, it became very obvious that the testimony had completely changed as to the cause of death. According to this court transcript, at one point, the presiding judge in this murder case said, quote, I think that changing an opinion regarding a material fact in the middle of a trial constitutes a clear surprise. I think it constitutes clear prejudice. The judge went on to say, I think it simply speaks to a lack of professionalism and lack of due diligence. It was so extreme that Judge Wahlberg, the district judge of the 167 District Court, Travis County, was forced to strike his entire testimony and then granted a directed verdict acquitting the defendant of murder in the case. In 17 years of practicing law, I've never heard of a district court giving a directed verdict in a murder based on the unreliability of a forensic medical examiner. Vasquez says she started doing research and learned Andrews is now the chief medical examiner here in Lubbock County. So she called Philip Wishcamper with the Lubbock Private Defender's Office to see if he had any information on Andrews, who, while now working for Lubbock County, was scheduled to travel back to Austin this month to testify in the case he worked years ago. I told her what I'd been told by DA Sunshine Stanick, which was this DA's office was not going to try any cases involving the Lubbock Medical Examiner's Office until the Rangers had completed their investigation. That is a pretty strong statement to put pretty much a blanket moratorium on the sitting ME in a county. Vasquez took this information to the judge, who she says has allowed the trial to be pushed back to April. But Vasquez says she plans on filing another motion before that trial begins. We'll be moving to suppress his autopsy and everything that Dr. Andrews touched. People of Travis County and Lubbock County deserve answers. They deserve good science. The DA in Lubbock did the right thing of calling it off as quickly as possible. But in Travis County, where we, even after the control of trial, Dr. Andrews continued here for a year, it could possibly call into question every autopsy done in that time. Meanwhile, here in Lubbock, Wish Camper says the DA's office sent him a copy of the transcript Vasquez referenced, notifying him it may be used as material for possible impeachment and or character evidence at trial. We have some concerns about his credibility. The district attorney has some concerns or they wouldn't have disclosed this to us. That gives us pause as well. While the Texas Medical Board and the Texas Rangers continue to investigate this office, the death cases will continue to pile up. It'll slow, slow down the wheels of justice. Shaylee Sanders, KCBD News Channel 11. As we reported on Monday, the county commissioners were scheduled to review the contract with the National Autopsy Assay Group who employs Dr. Andrews. Commissioners tabled that discussion. A commissioner told us they will most likely review the contract when the Texas Rangers complete their investigation. And we have all of our medical examiner investigations on our website under the Investigates tab.